and welcome to Air Raid Radio. We are on the air with Amy Loria and myself, and we are coming to you with a special show about um, Air Venture was ca- canceled this week, or this week, it was canceled this year, um, and we usually attend together, Amy and I together. <laughs> As a family. <laughs> As a family, um, which for those who don't know who are watching air venture is one of the largest air show in the world right at least in the united states and possibly north america yes so um it's a week long in oshkosh wisconsin and they have air show and they have a convention and they have like ten thousand planes fly in it's huge and every year amy and i attend and um rent a house together this time and adventures <laughs> the pool is is awesome um we don't camp <laughs> there's a no, camping option and we no don't camp that. i have uh, contemplated asking the guy we rented the house from if we could just show up and use their pool this year but i'm not sure rent if they the house for a week <laughs> great can you leave <laughs> so we could go somewhere <laughs> so we can go use your pool <laughs> yeah i want to go swimming <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this week we're going to um, bring you one show every day in honor of the air show. Um, and I guess it would be this, uh, when I corrected myself earlier, it is this week. It is this week, <laughs> yes. It's this week, right now. Yeah, happening now. Happening now. Um, so <laughs> I'm a little sad, I'm a little disappointed. I decided to do our show from outside today because I made me at least feel a little bit better about stuff <laughs> because it is summertime and we're missing what essentially it amounts to our summer camp by not. I know. By not I'm enjoying. so bummed. Yeah. So um, we wanted to share our memories with and see our friends because that's one of the big things about doing or going to Air Venture is that we see our friends from all across the country. Um, all across the world all across the world that are there and it's the only time of year we see them so um i know we're really adam and i are really missing it um so it's it's very sad but we wanted to bring shows to everybody so that they can at least uh, learn uh, hear everybody's memories and their favorite things to do so next year when it's going if you haven't been if you haven't been (laughs) then you should go and we've got a lot of tips um, coming right. up on those shows. And possibly so. people you should visit and chat with and just get to know. Yeah, and we've got a pretty good lineup. We've got uh, our guests are um, a range of people who do different things in aviation that we um, visit with every year at Oshkosh. So um, stay tuned this week. You will not be disappointed. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so Amy had an idea for our show today. Um, since it's just <laughs> the two of us, um, do you want to tell everybody what you wanted to do? Sure. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I asked everybody to, ow, I have a cat biting my hand. <laughs> I moved and she's not pleased. Um, I can't go anywhere without this cat. Um, not because I am a crazy cat lady. Well, I am, but that's beside the point. She follows me. <laughs> You're home. <laughs> I'm home. My cat yeah. is right there. You just can't see her. <laughs> Um, we asked you guys a couple weeks ago for questions that you wanted to know about Kara and I, and we received a couple, so we thought we would answer them for you. Uh, so thanks to everybody who submitted questions. Um, should I just start with the first one? That way you guys can get to know us better, right? Not that you don't already, but <laughs> yeah, for the, there's the, many the, layers. <laughs> for the viewers who aren't our moms. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Or for Jim and Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so one of the questions that we got was, what inspired you to get into aviation? And I'm reading them on my monitor over here because I have a little bit of a setup in here. So, <laughs> so Carol, what inspired you to get into professional, like you're like looking off. <laughs> no, I'm looking at the monitor over here. Oh, let, my let me read the stage, question. Stage left. Uh, <laughs> what inspired me to get in aviation? Um, my, so a most, a lot of people probably know, cause I tell this story a lot. Um, my grandfather flew in B-24s in World War II and 
he and I, him and I are like this. We were, we were buddies. And I didn't know that he was in um, World War II until I was in college. I mean, I'm sure I kind of knew, but not, I didn't pay attention because I was a shitty kid. <laughs> we all were. <laughs> like, Grandpa, let's just play Nintendo. <laughs> you don't realize how important it is until. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I kind of like started seeing more photos of uh from world war ii and the um airplanes and stuff and i just thought they looked really cool like i was like oh i love their outfit i was like i love their outfits <laughs> and the planes look cool um but the more i talked to my grandpa the more i got really interested in it and um i just fell in love with the story and i started doing more research on world war ii and um i just i think it's some of the best stories that are out there. Um, I mean, yeah. I know a lot of our listeners and you as well are um, very into World War II history and there's millions of stories and I just, I find it all very fascinating. Um, and I think it runs the gamut of all emotions. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what got me interested in aviation. And then I went, so I got my um, film production degree and went moved to New York and worked in television there and then I moved back to Cleveland and I found I was looking for uh film work in Cleveland and I found my husband my now husband's um website for Hemlock Films that had just a big picture on the front that was of um an airplane and it's like we do like some quotes and then it's like we make airplane documentaries and I was like what you can do that so i contacted him and then um started work working with him and we created um i think the restorers when we filmed your episode they were all volunteers yep. how okay. i know how, how how we met um and i have my shirt on which i think you can can you see i it? love that shirt <laughs> <laughs> um so that was uh, we did that and then we did we've done multiple other ones since then um, but that's kind of got what got me back in or really into aviation besides just my own like passing interest in it and I since then I've learned so much about aviation and airplanes that I had never known <laughs> so especially going to Oshkosh every year we I feel like I always am finding out something new which is really cool because it's it's not just like I know World War Two is our the Warbird land is our favorite, but um, there's definitely a lot of different areas that are really interesting to check out. And um, and since then I started. I technically am a student pilot. I'm still learning. <laughs> it was a very slow process. Um, and maybe one day I'll actually get my license. <laughs> no judgment. So, <laughs> what about you, Amy? What got you into aviation? Oh boy. Well, when I was a little girl, actually, it did. It started when I was a little girl. First, the um, earth cooled. <laughs> first, the earth cooled. Well, I did turn 40 this year, as we are part of Club 1980. Yes. <laughs> well, tell everybody how old we are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't care. I, don't <laughs> I tell <care>. everybody. <laughs> um, so I'm not quite as old as the earth is, <laughs> but just about. Um, no, I, uh, so I grew up in Alaska and my family would come down to Minnesota on summer vacations and we'd hang out with the family and um, hang out with my grandpa Erickson, my dad's dad. And one of the things that dad and I, and sometimes my auntie Patty and a couple of my other relatives and my mom, and uh, we'd go hang out with grandpa at the commemorative air force. And it was always this cool thing. And I got to hang out with these really old guys when I was, you know, 10, I think my earliest memories were probably when I was about, I don't know, eight, eight to 10 years old. And we'd go have lunch with the World War II veterans. And I just always felt at home there. And I'd help grandpa, you know, with Miss Mitchell or whatever was going on. If there was an air show going on, we'd help out with that. And he, grandpa was a pilot. Um, there's a story, I don't know if my dad's going to, <laughs> like that I shared this, but um, now you don't uh, to watch. <laughs> my grandpa was up taking a biplane lesson uh, when my grandma went into labor with him, 
And so oh he almost missed the birth of his first son. Oh my uh, God. He was flying. So apparently our family has been hit, bit hard by the airplane bug. Um, <laughs> my dad was a pilot for a while until he moved up to Alaska and just became too, too expensive. Um, so the highlight of my trips were going to the CAF um, and working with grandpa and the World War II veterans. And he passed away in 2002, and I wasn't able to say goodbye to him because uh, I, I, my flight got in after he had passed away, oh. and I was just crushed. Because grandpa and I, like you and your grandpa, we were we were like this. And that year, that summer, um, I was in college at the time, and uh, my dad asked me if I wanted to come down and hang out with family and go to the CAF and kind of help clean out some stuff. And I said, yeah, sure. I'd love to, it'd be nice to reconnect with people. And I uh, happened to meet my future husband there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, this longer story is in the, the Restorers episode. They were all volunteers. And yes. He's more interested. <laughs> yes, yeah, we got stuck working together. So re, or watch um, They Were All Volunteers, episode <laughs> five of the Restorers, if you'd like the full story. <laughs> <laughs> and pictures <laughs> and pictures of the wedding and the whole nine yards um but we met uh we started dating i was living out in washington at the time and uh we decided we had lost a friend um in a plane crash and we wanted to move back here to minnesota to be closer to the caf and to the things that were important you know family and and um aviation and yeah it's been kind of an interesting ride since we met you guys in 2010 and have become lifelong friends. It seems, yeah. it seems like forever, even though it's only been 10 years. And um, I love all the circumstances that have brought us together. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And so Jim and I were married at the hangar. Um, we, uh, yeah, we just have a life of aviation and I am also learning to fly, which has been a mm. slow process. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that I can pick it up and get done this year sometime. Um, but yeah, it just, it's kind of interesting where the world takes you. Yes. You, know? yeah. you think you're going one way and it's like, no, hey, guess what? I got something else for you. <laughs> oh yeah. As I'm sure everyone is experiencing this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everyone's life has changed. And yes. Um, Very much so. It's been kind of nice though, because we've it slowed us down a lot because we were crazy people. We traveled every month and now we've been at home for what? It's been March. March, April, May, June, July. We've been I'm going stir months. crazy. It's getting a little, a little weird, and I think that's why I've been pushing to be outside more. And I apologize for everybody for now the lawnmower noise. <laughs> oh, here. I don't, I don't know if anybody can hear it. I can't hear oh, it. Oh, you can't. Oh, yes. no. It is. Um, I think because all of my neighbors are home all the time, like it has become everyone's favorite thing to do. Is to <laughs> I mean, it's a great thing to do in the summer. Yeah. Right? Your mm -hmm. lawn needs it. <laughs> sure. sure. It just gets a little, it gets a bit much when you're like, can it be quiet for like one hour? <laughs> like five minutes. That'd be, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> um, so yeah. So, so that's my long story. <laughs> and you're, fly, but you're learning to fly in a Cetabria, so that's a little more interesting then. Yeah, the tail dragger. I'm actually going to finish up in um, a Cessna. Oh, okay. Uh, because I have a, there's a flight school at Fleming and I just, oh. I need some structure. Yeah. So I'm going to finish in the Cessna, but he was telling me all this stuff and I'm like, I have to do what? Like, no, no, no. There's no flaps on the Cetab on the Cetab <laughs> I don't need a, what? <laughs> yeah. It's a little so, more complicated, I think. It'll be interesting, but it'll be good to get it done and then you know, I can. Yeah, yeah, I took a lesson in a cub. Was it this month? Might have been the beginning or the end of June. And it's yeah. way easier than flying in the Cessna where I'm like, oh, there's like not a lot to deal with. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I like the simplicity of it. And I think that's what I want to stick with because we, we've talked about getting, you know, an airplane at some point. And whatever yeah. it is, I want it to be simple and fun. Yes. I am a... I enjoy the open cockpit, um, yes. and I like, I just want to cruise around. Like, I don't. Yeah, just kind of put around. Anywhere. Yeah, I just want to, and we, because we live in Cleveland, we're pretty close to the, we have islands on Lake Erie, Erie that all have um, 
strip airstrips on them. So it's oh, a great cool. dra- day trip to just fly up there and land and get lunch or something and come back. So I think that's ultimately our goal is eventually we'll get a plane at some point, but, um, yeah, long-term goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, then I don't need to fly it. I'll just be the passenger that sits and looks out the window. Like Adam can just fly me everywhere. <laughs> You want to fly, though. You know uh, you do. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see so. I get, I get bored. Where I'm like, uh, it seems like a lot of work to get a license. <laughs> it does. But after talking, so one of, we, we talked to a, a World War II wasp that we won't tell you who. Um, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> it'll be a surprise. Um, but we talked to a wasp. And after hearing her stories of learning to fly and just honestly not giving a damn and like going for it, like, all right, all right, I need to stop (laughs) monkeying around here. And (laughs) yeah, yeah, absolutely. That'll be our Friday show. I think that's our big finale. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. So tune in. (laughs) I'm very excited. Shocker, everything's been pre recorded. (laughs) Right. Yeah, it'd be hard to do it live. Yeah, I think, I mean, our week is is busy. Um, I mean, the, the one nice thing about, um, air venture being canceled is that I, I have a job next week. So like That's I would have, had to, I would not have worked at it if I went to air venture. So, um, as a freelancer, you kind of got to take it when you get it. So, yes. um, yes. especially now when there's not a whole lot of anything going on. Um, but anyhow, what's our next question? Next question. I'm glad you asked Kara. <laughs> um how many years have you <laughs> sorry how many years <laughs> you're welcome folks <laughs> this is pretty much how it goes <laughs> um how many years have you been attending Oshkosh uh, um I think my first year was in when I met Adam in 09 and he actually asked me to go to Oshkosh with him because he was finishing up so he was doing Flight of the Red Tail because the, um, the Tuskegee Airmen's red, the CAF's Red Tail airplane had just gotten rebuilt after it had crashed and it was going to be their first flight. And so Adam was driving to North Dakota, um, right? You were going to Fargo? Adam's not listening. <laughs> I was going to fact check, but he's not listening to me. Um, so he was going there to finish or to film this first flight to so that we could put it on the end or he could put on to the end of red tail reborn um and he's like hey do you want to go with me and i was like dude i just met you <laughs> like we've been dating for like a couple months i am not driving across the country with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then i was like it sounds cool but i was like i don't i don't think that's Oh, good, good. I don't know you. <laughs> this like, seems like a bad idea. Barely been dating. So I missed oh, 2009, which in so in 2010, I think would be my first year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so when I went, I was like beating myself up that I didn't go the year before. So I'm like, this is so cool. I can't believe that I wussed out and didn't go the year before. But Adam did bring me home a beautiful necklace of a B-24 because my that's the plane my grandpa flew in. And that was my um, the present he brought back for me in 09. And I was like, you're still not my boyfriend, but I'm totally keeping this necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew he would end up to be your husband? I know. I guess it worked out for him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's over there shaking his Oh, head. you heard that, huh? That he heard. <laughs> <laughs> But when I needed information, he couldn't hear me. He couldn't hear me. No, no, of course not. Um, so I think we've been going, and we skipped. What do you need to know? Uh, oh, where you, f- you went to Fargo to do. Went to back shop. You went to back. He was at Beck's um, mm. in Fargo. And then, uh, wait, we skipped. Did we skip 2010? I think we skipped 2010. This is really interesting in- in for our viewers. <laughs> that was like, great. They're like, forward. oh, this is really cool. Because <laughs> um, we we stayed home. There's one, we've gone every year since then. But there was one year we stayed home to do our 48-hour film festival. To oh, yeah. Which 
you'll find out a little bit more about that on our next show. <laughs> right. Yes. And then we'll post the link to watch it in the comments. Yes. It is a four minute <laughs> film and it is amazing. You won't be sorry. <laughs> Adam White is amazing in it. <laughs> At, there is a cameo of Adam, which I completely forgot about because I think we filmed that thing 10 years ago. Um, it is my, one of my proudest pieces. A, it's equates to a Buffy episode for all the Buffy fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I have many, I'm a woman of many interests. <laughs> it's not just airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> so any, anyways, how many years have you been going to Oshkosh? Oh gosh. Um, we've been going since 2006 or 2007. Um, my oh, okay. fact checker cannot remember either if it was 2006 or 2007 yeah. but I do remember the very first year that we went we only went for one day and we, we drove from Minnesota to Oshkosh oh my gosh for a day for a day did the thing and then I believe we packed up and drove back home and I said How long is doing that? That again. yeah that's like yeah. what a six hour drive um well it depends on who's driving but if we're driving it's probably about mm -hmm four and a half hours. <laughs> I think so it's like, four and a half to five hours, depending on the, the route that you take and how many stops you make. Um, but we usually, driving. <laughs> we usually don't make too many stops. It's like, how, how far can we go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ours is a much longer trip from Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> much yeah 12 hours, 12 hours. Uh, I think it's about around eight. It's just a long eight and we have to go around Chicago, which yeah always slows things down. Many travelers know driving through Chicago, driving through Chicago is a pain in the butt. So now we, I think we skirt around it, but I think it just yeah. takes just as long. I don't think it saves us any time. Um, but yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not, yeah. a, it's a yeah, long We have a considerably less yeah. more lengthy route, but, but yeah, that first year was very long. And then I think over the years we've incrementally gotten longer like then we did two days and I remember one year we uh, didn't plan and we were wanted to go for two days and so we we were new to it we had no idea how big it was and we're like well we'll just go and get a hotel room when we get there yeah no that's not how it works people I'm letting you know if you decide to go next Ugh. year free plan the closest place we could find was Green Bay and the hotel room was like two or three hundred dollars for a night in yeah. Green Bay <laughs> That's why we rent houses or bedroom. The first year we went, we rented just a bedroom in a- um, Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you know it. Amy's laughing because she remembers the picture. <laughs> it was a little girl's room that Adam and I had, ended up staying in. And I have this great photo of Adam just like hiding under the covers. And I was like, send this to no one. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to get put on a list. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've stayed at some interesting places over the years. Um, yeah. We stayed at uh, the Hobbit house. Yes, the Hobbit slash Tatooine Star Wars house. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've stayed in a, yeah. <laughs> in a house with like 20 people and there were like four of us to a room. <laughs> oh my god. I I always forget about that. And like, I think my brain was like, wipe that memory. <laughs> Know, yeah, 15 years, no, 14 years into it, we finally figured out, hey, let's get a big house with a pool and stay all week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, it gets canceled. But yes, right. last year we were like, we were staying all week and we're going to take an extra day to just hang out and with each other and do whatever we want. Hang and... out in the pool and then, yeah, and go to the light or the, um, the seaplane base because we've never done that. Um I really want to go. So we're like, next year, we're making it the long week. And, and then happens. COVID happened. <laughs> COVID's ruined a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, here's hoping next year. I know. I was like, I hope it happens. <laughs> if not, yeah. I'm going to be super sad. <laughs> yeah. If not, we may, I'm serious. Like, let's just tell the house that we still want to go to their house. We We're just need a in. vacation. <laughs> It'll be like in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, why not? Like, it's fine. I mean, where else are we going to go if we can't, you know? Uh, yeah. Go uh, to Europe or whatever. Yeah. 
So I know we, I know we have discussed this in the sh- in the shows in the future that no one has watched yet. Um, but we know because we pre-recorded them. Um, what is your favorite thing about Oshkosh? So we touch on it a little bit in some of the upcoming shows, but definitely the people and getting to hear all their stories. Um, you know, one year we got to drive around with Dick Cole and mm-hmm. kind of be his chauffeur and it was just such an amazing experience. And one year we helped you guys out with the wasps yeah. and got to share experiences with them. And it's literally old home week and you go and you see people you haven't seen all year and you get to catch up. And I mean, you can't walk 10 steps without running into somebody that you know, and yeah. it's okay. Cause that's what yeah. it's for. Or meeting yeah. someone new and they can do literally anything. <laughs> I think that's the most exciting part is when you're like, so who are you with or what are you doing? And it's just always this wonderful, different answer where you're like, oh, that's really actually very cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've met some of our greatest friends at the air show, Yeah, you know, and people that we keep in touch with and people that, you know, are from other countries and yeah. they're like, when you get over to England or you get to wherever, come and visit. Yeah. You know? And they, that was, um, I believe I touch on it in one of our other shows coming up. Um, but that was, Air Venture allowed me to meet my grandfather's, when he, his crew was called Capone's crew, and they were in the B-24 together, and his pilot was Capone, Ernie Capone, and Ernie Capone Jr. was working at one of the booths in, um, at Air Venture, and we had discussed this in advance and so we met up and I was able to meet with him and have dinner and I heard stories that I didn't know um which was amazing so um it's nice that it provides that kind of opportunity as well so um again I think it's just like the land of a million stories of every week every year the entire week like there's a a ton of great stories that come out of just being there so yeah yeah the friendships and the stories and everything it's, yeah it's just so amazing I'm glad that we've yeah. been able to kind of recreate that a little bit even if it is from everybody's living rooms or couches yeah. or whatever yeah yeah and that's I mean ideally with us doing this this week is kind of to be like hey let's think about like our favorite things that we get that we're yeah. that we've done <laughs> and um it's sad that we're not there doing them, but um, at least it, it, we got to see our friends. So, or right. some of them. We have some, so oh, many that are there. Like a, like a fraction of our friends. Oh, I know. It's not. It's like less than one <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Well, I want to encourage everybody too to share your stories with us. So feel free to comment um, yeah. on the video yeah. or comment on Facebook and share stories with us. Yeah. Um, whatever you're comfortable with. Answer the questions that we did. We want to. We want to know what you guys like to see and how long you've yeah. been going to Oshkosh and what your favorite things are. Yeah. Cause there's things that people have told. So last year we brought um, my niece with us and she's, she's going to be 11. So yeah, she would, no, she's going to be 12. So she was 10. Which I Very eye opening for her. Yes. And like, so I got on like the EA message boards and like, the groups on Facebook and I was like hey we've never taken a kid like what do people recommend like besides kid venture <laughs> which is the obvious um like what do you think we we should take her to do and like I got so many responses and like some great. Really, really great stuff and like things that I was like oh like I didn't know they did that or I hadn't thought about doing that and last year um Riley and I took did the Hilo ride and um yeah because lynn kaywood who is going to be one of our guests um recommended it she's like i've done that and the tri-motor and she's like and they're both awesome so we did the the helicopter ride and i've never ridden in a helicopter before (laughs) so i was trying to be like the heroic aunt where i'm like yeah this is fine i'm not it's fine fine. helicopter (laughs) secretly going uh how do, what happens when the propellers stop? <laughs> like, do we just drop like a rock? Like, I have no, 
I no experience with helicopters. <laughs> it turned out okay. You guys both had a great time. It was awesome. I loved it. And tip for those, here's a pro tip that I learned. Um, for those of you who are interested in taking the helicopter ride next year, go on first thing on Monday. Be yeah. on it. Get there when it starts. There's no line. We went and we got right on and everybody was like, yeah, this is the time you should come. Everybody who runs the booth is like, now is the time. Because yeah. like, the line is just going to be ridiculous for the rest of the week. So I think that's a good reminder though, just in general, like a, a yeah. pro tip, mm -hmm. don't wait until later in the day because the lines will be so long yeah. to get in. You'll have to park literally yeah. two miles away, like go early and then leave early if you want to before yeah. it gets really hot and crazy. But trying also, to go later in the day is always not good. <laughs> yeah. Also a good tip, take a nap in the shade of a, um, if you can find an airplane wing or our favorite spot is behind the vintage hangar where there's like a little grove of trees and like some grassy field and it feels nice and cool back there. So yep. <laughs> I always, when I get too tired, I'm like, I'm gonna go take a nap in that grass. Yep. <laughs> Do it before the air show starts or you won't get a nap in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you still can when the show, I mean, when the show's going on, you're so tired, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you can yeah. see a little bit of the show through the trees when you're <laughs> playing there um but that's my my favorite and I think going agreeing with Amy definitely going early so that you can get parked and in and um because I know there's some days where we're like oh we're gonna go a little later and then we're like oh no 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 <laughs> yeah don't do it don't ever do that again go early get your yeah. butt out of bed and <laughs> go early and Although the one, the one year we stayed at, we rented a house that was like at the end of the, um, one of the runways. So like you cool. would wake up pre-dawn every morning because the planes were just coming in over your house to do the photo flights. And you're like, that was really cool though. That, that location was really cool. It was great. Cause we could sit in the backyard and watch the planes go over. I think that when we pulled into that house, I think we, I don't know if we got there on Sunday or what, but like they were doing, um, it was the year with all the B, I think it was the year with all the B-25s. Yeah, that was the Doolittle uh, yeah. Raiders. I think it was the 75th anniversary. Because they were doing their um, show with uh, Fifi and all the B-25s and a bunch of warbirds and they were just circling over that house. So we so pulled awesome. in. And um, that was the year, I, the first year I brought my sister and my mom and my nephew and they were just like where are we <laughs> like yeah minute one <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the show yet <laughs> but that was that was really cool um and I have multiple favorite things because throughout all these episodes people ask what's your favorite and every time it changes because <laughs> I'm like no 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 wait my favorite my favorite is my favorite the depending on the day this is my favorite <laughs> and it's like you gotta you got to pick your schedule, what you're going to do and be like, this is what we're doing because there's a lot of options and you're always going to miss something. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to squeeze it all in either. So it's like, pick your favorite thing and do that. Cause every year when we, if we are leaving the show, I drag my feet and I pout because I did not get to see everything I wanted to see. And that's every day. And Adam's like, we're coming back tomorrow. And I'm like, but we can't go do the thing I wanted to do. I don't want to go home yet. <laughs> but I do because I'm also tired and I, I know, don't need thousand tired steps on the pedometer. <laughs> <laughs> I need to like, take a shower and lay down. But I also want to see everything. So yeah. there's a yeah. lot to see and you're never going to see everything. So and that's the other thing. Wear sensible shoes because you're going to walk a lot. I mean, you're going to put on 15 to 20,000 steps a day. So yeah. like, yeah. Wear, wear good shoes and wear sunscreen. Bring a hat. Oh my God, sunscreen. <laughs> don't wear, wear the big, ladies, don't wear heels. <laughs> I wear the big, dumb, wide brim hat that Adam calls my adventure hat. And I'm like, or I don't Indiana care. Jones. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if it looks stupid. I'm like, I will be burnt if I don't <laughs> wear this dumb thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, but then it's annoying because then you have to deal with the stupid hat all day and always <laughs> taking it off and like itching it. And, I bring a whole little cooler full of food. Of course, I have lots of food allergies and whatnot, but I, I bring a cooler full of food and water and yeah. whatever else I need. And I think that's a good idea, even if you don't have food allergies, because I'm not necessarily. 
don't necessarily have allergies, but I do have a sensitive stomach. So there's certain things that I know I don't want to eat. And a lot of the times we'll end up in areas where it's like, there's only fried food over here. And I'm like, I can't eat that or I'm going to have a very bad time. <laughs> so, um, I I'm have here, a magic I'm like, backpack full of food that I just pull out and go, Carol, would you like this? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Because inevitably we are always like deep somewhere really far away from a place that I can eat at. And I'm like, but it's like a mile that way. <laughs> yep. I'm starving now. Yeah. So every year I'm like, I'm going to bring food too. And then I don't because I'm a lazy bum. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's oh, to be around a cooler all day too, you know, so you really got to either have something that's portable that you mm -hmm. are comfortable carrying or have a place to stash it if you're yeah. working with a vendor or whatever. But that's hard to come by on a first year basis. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to find someone who really likes you. Who's like, yeah, sure. You could totally leave your stuff here. <laughs> that you trust. That you trust. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. I mean, there's multiple locations we could stash stuff, but like we forgot our camp chairs at, with the red, the red tail squadron one year. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Months later, I was like. Chairs. We had camp chairs, right? That we just bought. And he's like, Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them since we went to Oshkosh. And I'm like, Oh, I think we left them. I was like, We donated them to the Red Tail Project. <laughs> yeah. I think we've left a few things at people's houses. I'm like, Where did that air mattress go? <laughs> yeah. 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 We've definitely had the houses where it's the land of the air mattress. <laughs> we do like to pa cram everybody into a house. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think we found a good house this time though that, yeah. or, you know, in recent years where there's enough room for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it next year. <laughs> Me too. Um, anyways, do you have any other, can you come up with any other questions or should we? I don't um, think so. I feel like we should do a whole like pro tip Oshkosh episode, <laughs> but that'll be later. <laughs> you got time. <laughs> Maybe for next year before yeah. When everyone's preparing to go. We'll do like a packing list. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I like it. Yeah. Like it. We'll but yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. We're yeah. gonna have an exciting week and I hope you guys like it. And um yeah, check back, comment, comment and tell us Yeah. Tell us your yeah. story. We wanna hear them. Yes, please. It's going to entertain us for <laughs> for the week. For the week. We need it. We need our um air venture fix. So, and I Absolutely. love hearing people's stories. So please, please, please share. And um, you can also subscribe. I'm sure there's a button somewhere. Subscribe now. <laughs> um, I've seen people <laughs> do that before. I think that's a thing. <laughs> um, but yes, stay tuned. We have five, epi one per day, Monday through Friday, we will be posting. And um, our show is brought to you by Spont Spotlight Business Solutions. Got it. <laughs> and Hemlock Films. So, um, <laughs> you'll see, we for I forget to mention our sponsors at the end of the show, which I always do too. And there are companies, so <laughs> we sponsor ourselves. <laughs> We're terrible at this. <laughs> Unless someone else wants to sponsor us, yeah. give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't forget to, to end <laughs> if you want to. We won't forget about you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> this is going great. Uh, all right. So it was great to see you, Amy. And um, you too, Kara. we will see you all in Facebook. Or not on Facebook. <laughs> well, on Facebook, but in YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we are on Facebook. So you can check us out there for more information. Um, but we will see you in YouTube land tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.